Lower trapezius muscle is so important. It pulls the scapula in a specific position so that when you go arm up over your head, that scapula is meant to do what's called upward rotation. It's supposed to twist and turn. And the way the lower trapezius pulls on the, from the attachment to the scapula or shoulder blade, the way it pulls makes the scapula go into upward rotation. Well, a lot of people have really weak lower traps. Yes. Or they have compensated movement. Oh, so the upper traps are really, you know, the guys in the gym, the 315 pound, uh, uh, shrugs. Mm -hmm. Is it really, dude? Why? There comes a point where it's just about looks and trying to create a performance that's, that doesn't make sense for health and feeling amazing and athletic. Very important, lower trapezius. How can we strengthen those muscles? And again, you know, why? Why is it important the scapula rotate upward? What am I talking about? When the lower traps are weak, or not as strong as they should be in ratio to other muscles, the scapula will just shift more outward, as you can see with people who have forward internally rotated shoulders because the scapula is not strong, the rhomboids, mid traps, but especially lower traps. The scapula will shift just lateral rotation, and so the humerus, which is underneath the scapula, that just shifts lateral, and the humerus comes up and collides. Humps. Why? Because, so the arm, okay, my arm, for every two degrees of my humeral movement, I should have one degree of scapular movement. But if my scapula doesn't upward rotate the way it's supposed to, my humerus is going to collide into the it's scapula. It's going to stop. And there's tissues in between here, and they're going to impinge. So the, one of the most major points of that is having the lower trapezius contract because it will pull the scapula to enable it to rotate yes. as it goes upward. So it's a huge factor. So how do you strength train this muscle? Really simply, instead of just doing pull downs and ah, ah, trying to just get whatever weight you can, knock that off right away. It's a very simple movement. And shoulders down, pull all the way down, squeeze the scapula, keep the scapula pinned, and reach up. Do deadlifts with your back very straight. Do um, rack pulls where you actually begin to round the spine a tiny bit, not a lot, and then come up to perfect posture and you're going only halfway down. Do a lot of rows and use a moderate to heavy weight and as you become accustomed to it, slowly 10% progress per week, begin to lift heavier and heavier weights using proper spinal alignment, strengthening all of those muscles, the mid traps, the lower traps, and also doing external rotation exercises, so where you're resisting going outward, okay?